again struck in our song the vice president of the Black Racing Association. As you heard, Gary Thomas said that we would, the government go with some money to um, pay the IP But let me tell you what happened in the past. The landfill operator pushed down some manholes down in the, uh, in, the, in the new road that we had to make for the, uh, for the trucks to use. And this was the old road for the trucks. And the Port Authority, a couple years ago, like that's about nine years, going and ten years now, gave we a lease to use this property. But in order to get this property, we had to make a new road for the, for the, for the trucks to go into the landfill. And we made that new road and everything, and we got this property. We have insurance, we pay Port Authority every month, we pay our water bills, everything, we groom the property, keep it clean. But while the operator and the landfill was cleaning the road, he pushed in a, a, a manhole. And that manhole backed up to our track, which has the name to allow one along our, um, our racetrack. And while that manhole was backing up, a lot of rain came down also and flooded out the whole side of the track, gashed out the, um, another part of the track down there, and messed up the road real bad. And the, um, the, the senators promised us, as they get a first session, they will pass some money to resolve the whole track, wipe the track and everything. And they did that. They did pass the money and everything. The money went into public works. And public works commissioner, Mr. Smiles, he is in charge of public works and he was in charge of the money. We didn't get a cent. We didn't get one cent from, from public works to pay the IP in who we saw this, the road for us and prepare it so we could run for Christmas. Now I don't like doing business like that. Uh, VI Paving is a good company. We do business with each other. Right now VI Paving is refusing to pay me and Gary Thomas who did work for them because they drag strip for them. That is not good business. We need the governor to step in, pay these people so we can continue racing, fix this problem we got with um, St. Croix Renaissance. You can see over there. Put your camera over there. I want you to check out the boundary line. Our neighbor, St. Croix Renaissance, this property was owned by Martin Maretta, Wayaku, Wayaku, the Alco, Alcoa, and now St. Croix Renaissance. We get this property for Adala. Paiwanski is the one who set up this deal a couple years ago for the Virgin Islands. Now come to find out, they did a survey and they find out we done a little portion of their property. Mr. Myron Alec is in charge of Renaissance. When he find out we done their property, he tell me it's no problem, just get insurance. We went and put our insurance to cover them also. Come to find out we got a letter to go court. The man take me to court. The, the, the court rule in their favor that we encroaching on their property and the one we are. So we can't race right now. The court take on the line. The marshal bring the paper the other day, give it to us. He said we got to break down all them things that we put up. The government invests a lot of money in this track and we just can't see it go like that. So we need the governor, the lieutenant governor, everybody in power to, to, to try and resolve this problem with St. Croix Renaissance so we can keep the drag racing alive.